Hello, hello. Good morning. Ok, hola chicos, buenos días. ¿Cómo están? Ok, vamos a esperar que ingresen los demás compañeros. Buenos días. Ok, para empezar nuestro repaso de language. De acuerdo. Ok, muy bien. Recuerde que este día hicimos un cambio en nuestro horario, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces a esta hora teníamos... Eh, el horario sugerido para hacer nuestro examen de penmanship, pero lo pasamos para la 1.30. Sí, quiere decir que este día, ok, solo nos vemos a esta hora. De acuerdo, ok, vamos a tener nuestro repaso de language y por la tarde no va a recibir su clase. De acuerdo, ya a partir de las 11.40 ya estamos, digamos que libre. De acuerdo, ok, hicimos un cambio ahí en el grupo, eh, se los colocamos. Sí, ok. Porque era necesario hacerlo, ¿de acuerdo? Yo tengo revisión del libro con otro grado y necesitaba mover esa hora. Ok, chicos, muy bien. Eh, a las 9 de la mañana, que es ahorita, tenemos nuestra clase de repaso de language. Luego a las 10, seguimos con lo mismo, clase de repaso de ciencia. A las 11 usted tiene su examen, es decir, la hora sugerida. Y a la 1 y media tiene su horario sugerido para el examen de penmanship. Es decir, termina su jornada a las 10 y 40. Ok, a las 10 y 40 recibe la última clase de repaso y luego ya usted se queda libre por el resto del día y nos vemos hasta el día de mañana. Ok, recuerda, mañana nos vemos hasta las 9 de la mañana. ¡Ah! Va a tener una jornada larga. Ok, porque mañana nos vemos hasta las 9 de la mañana, que de 8 a 9 usted tiene su horario sugerido para el examen de ritmo. <ríe> ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver, vamos a iniciar. Sí, es verdad que mañana solo tenemos una clase. Sí, mañana solo tenemos una clase. Solo vamos a tener el repaso de IFL. Uh -huh. De ahí las otras dos horas son para horario sugerido para examen. Ok. Excelente, chicos. Muy bien. Vamos a orar, chicos. De acuerdo, ya que este día no, no tenemos nuestra emocional, pero sí vamos a orar. Vamos a pedirle al Señor que nos ayude en estas evaluaciones y sobre todo, ok, que nos ayude a darnos mucha sabiduría para poder contestar de la manera correcta. Si alguien tiene alguna petición en especial, puede escribirla en el chat. De acuerdo. Ok, oramos chicos. Muy bien, gracias amado Padre por esta mañana, Señor, la cual tú nos has permitido estar acá, recibir nuestras clases, Señor, agradecemos por todo lo que hemos aprendido durante el periodo 2, sabemos que estamos a punto de finalizarlo y hasta aquí, Señor, tú has sido muy bueno con nosotros. Te pedimos, Señor, que nos des la sabiduría necesaria para poder responder de la mejor manera a nuestras evaluaciones, que nos des la sabiduría necesaria, sobre todo, Señor, para tomar decisiones adecuadas. Sabemos que viene la última parte de nuestro periodo, de nuestro año escolar y queremos poner todo el empeño, queremos poner toda la dedicación y toda nuestra responsabilidad en esas actividades. Además, Señor, te pedimos que seas tú quien está siempre presente con nosotros, que cuide a nuestras familias, Señor, que cuide a nuestros padres, que los traiga de regreso con bien a casa si ellos han salido a trabajar. Te pedimos de manera especial por las personas que están en el área de salud para que seas tú quien las cuide, Señor, que seas tú quien las guarde y sobre todo que les des el entendimiento y la sabiduría necesaria para poder cuidar y cuidar a los demás. En el nombre del Señor. Amén. Ok, chicos, muy bien. Comenzamos con nuestro repaso de language. Yes. Ok, pay attention to this one. So you have this information in that case, ok, on page, uh, let me move, 92. Ok, open your book on page 92, please. Page 92. Be ready with your book. Yes, because we, uh, let me see what in that. Okay, page 92. Okay, página 92. Okay, es una clase de repaso, chicos. Sí, ahorita vamos a ir repasando poco a poco, ok, pero necesito que vaya abriendo su libro. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, page 92. Language. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Paulette, help me please. And you read the information that you have there. Page 92. A helping bird. A helping verb helps the main verb show the action. Some helping verbs are am, is, are, was, were, have, has, and have. Okay, thank you. So let's see. This one is important. Yeah? So I box in green. A helping verb helps the main verb show the action, ok, un verbo de ayuda, 
le ayuda a un verbo principal que muestra acción. A helping bird helps the main bird show the action. Some helping birds are. ¿Cuáles son los helping birds? Am, is, are, was, were, have, has, and has. Yes. All of these ones are helping birds. Estos que yo le voy a encerrar aquí en rojo son los que nosotros llamamos helping birds. In Spanish, verbos de ayuda. Am, is, are, was, were, have, has, and the last one that is have. Okay. And I ask you, how many helping birds do we have? ¿Cuántos verbos de ayuda tenemos? Eight. Okay, eight, exactly. We have eight. Am, um, is, are, was, were, have, has, and had. That's mean eight, yes? Okay, so you try to memorize. Tiene que memorizárselos. Okay, let's repeat with me. Am, um, is, are, was, were, have, has, and have. Yes, eight helping verb. Okay, the last time, let's repeat the last time. Am, um, is, are, was, were, have, has, and had. Yeah, eight helping verbs in that case. Okay, Jimena, tell me. Do they have a question? Okay, what is your question? The page of language. 92. Okay, okay 92. Okay, excellent. So let's see. This one are helping birds. And a helping bird says that this one helps the main bird. Que ayuda a otro verbo. For example, okay. Have grown. This one is the helping bird. In that case is have. And this helping bird helps this action verb or main verb. Este verbo de ayuda, ok, por eso le llamamos verbo de ayuda, le ayuda, valga la redundancia, a este otro verbo de acción, have ground, ya. Yeah? In next example, I am singing to my baby brother. We have the helping verb and this one helps the verb singing, yes. Si usted se fija, le ayuda a otro verbo. Cuando usted vea un verbo de estos, un verbo de acción con otro verbo conjugado a la par, ok, quiere decir que estamos usando helping verbs. Yes? Ok. So let's see. Let's repeat this information because then I ask you. Ok, a helping verb helps the main verb show the action. Some helping verbs are am, is, are, was, were, have, has, and has. Yeah? Okay, so this one is on page 92. Now, let's continue this page. Use this helping verb with singular subject, okay? Con sujetos en singular. Am, is, was, and have. What are the singular subjects? In that case, the singular subject is he, she, it, and I. Yeah, these one are the singular subject. He, she, it, and I. For example, she is, he is, I was, she has, he has, it has. These one are singular subject. Okay, what are the plural subject? The plural subjects are they, we, and you. Yes, okay, these one are the plural subjects, they, we, and you. So we can say, they are, we are, you are, they were, we were, you were. Okay, or maybe we can say they have, we have, you have, yes? Okay, the helping bird had works with both singular and plural subjects, okay? This one is an exception. This helping verb have, that's mean you can use singular and you can use plural subjects, yes? Con este verbo de ayuda, podemos utilizarlo con singulares y podemos utilizarlo con plurales, yes? Have, in that case, okay? 
So let's see. Now let's continue. Okay. So let me check this part. Okay. This one. Okay. Now page 94. Let's go to page 94. Okay. One more time we review a helping bird. A helping bird helps the main bird show the action. Okay, you know that we have eight helping birds. These one are am, is, are, was, where, have, has, and have. Yes, and this one is very important. Check that. Okay, the helping bird and an action bird together are called bear phrase. Okay, let's repeat the helping verb and an action verb together are called bear phrase. Cuando tenemos un verbo de ayuda y un verbo de acción, a estos dos juntos le llamamos bear phrase. Yes, when we have a helping verb and an action verb, we call this one bear phrase. Cuando los tenemos juntos, les llamamos bear phrase. Okay. What is the act, the helping bird in that sentence? Wheat was grown in this field. What is the helping bird in that sentence, in this example? Wheat was grown in this field. What is the helping bird? ¿Cuál es the helping bird? Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Was this one. Yes. Okay, so this one is a helping bear, exactly. Okay, in ground, this one is an action. This one we call action, action bear, exactly. Okay, and the rule says, if we have a helping bear and an action bear together, so we call this one, bear phrase yes in that case we have a helping bear and an action bird together so we call this one bear phrase yes okay don't forget this one if we have a helping bear and an action bird together these one are called bear phrase okay excellent si tenemos un verbo de ayuda y un verbo de acción juntos, entonces a esto le llamamos bear phrase. Yes? Okay. And we have here, for example, okay, the verbs that need helping verbs. Present, past, helping verb. Okay, remember the last classes, we studied the present of a verb, we studied the past tense of a verb, and we studied what are the verbs or the form that we need a helping verb. Yeah? Estudiamos el presente y el pasado. Y vamos a estudiar la forma que necesita un helping verb. Grow, grew, grow. Blow, blew, blow. No, new, now. Fly, flew, flown. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let's continue. Yes. Okay. This one is the first list. Now the second list, page 95. Okay. One more time. We study the helping verb. Okay, and we have the present, the past, and the helping verb. Sing, sun, sung. Ring, ran, run. Go, went, gone. Freeze, froze, frozen. Okay, but remember, when you use sun, run, gone, and frozen, that means you need a helping verb. Okay, cuando usamos esa última columna, vea. This one, okay? It is necessary that we have before a helping verb, okay? Necesita tener un verbo de ayuda antes de este verbo, okay? For example, we can say, I'm son, he is run, you are gone, okay? He was frozen, okay? Cuando usamos esta última columna de los verbos, Necesitamos tener un helping verb, okay? Pay attention to that. So let's see, let's continue practicing. Okay, page 96. One more time, we have another verbs. Brown, broken, begun, and seen, yes? So this one, the last column, you know that it's necessary that we use a helping 
verb, ¿ok? Recuerde que la última columna siempre la ocupamos con un verbo de ayuda, ¿yes? Miss, ¿cómo que le interrumpa? Tell me. Ya vimos the non-action verb. No, ya los vamos a ver, ¿ok? Vamos por tema. Oh. Uh -huh. Ok, ahorita solo estamos viendo helping verbs. Ya lo vamos a estudiar, ¿ok? Ok, so let's see. Now, let's continue. Ok, in that page, page 90. In this case, it's page 90. Um, let me check. I didn't see that page. 97, yes? Ok, so remember, the last column, that is this one. So you have written, you have drunk, eaten, and done. It is necessary that you use helping verbs, ok, no se le olvide que la última columna de los verbos siempre necesita un verbo de ayuda, ya, yeah? that's mean a helping verb, ok so let's see ok, now let's continue 97, 98 ok, so let's see in that part and we have the last one that is this, ok the last column, in that case is taken, given driven, written what do we need ¿Qué necesitamos en la última columna? Had. Ok, only had. Helping bird. Ok, a helping bird, exactly, a helping bird. And if we use a helping bird in an action bird together, we call this one. ¿Cómo le llamamos? Bird phrase. Bird phrase, ok, excelente. Thank you. So that's when you pay attention, yes? Okay, and we have the last one that in this case is run, come, and also become. Okay, remember, we need a helping verb, yes? Okay, so let's see. This one is the part, okay, that you check, yes? Okay, now let's continue. Okay, next part, let me show you this one. Okay, this part, yes? Okay, now we check imperatives, okay? This one is the next topic that you study, yeah? Imperatives, what is an imperative? You know what is an imperative? A command. Okay, is an, exactly. Okay, it's a recommendation or maybe it's an advice, yes, that you give to other person. Ok, so you find this one on page 105. Vaya a la página 105. Ahí lo va a encontrar. Ok. Imperatives you use for giving instructions. Ok. Lo ocupa para dar indicaciones. For example, if I tell you, sit down. Yeah, this one is an instruction. Stand up. Ok. Open your book. Close your book. Take a shower. Brush your teeth. Wake up. Get up. Ok. All of these ones are imperatives. That's mean advice or instructions, okay? Consejos o indicaciones. But we have a particular thing here, okay? Imperative says on page 105, the subject of an imperative sentence is always, ¿cuál es el sujeto en una oración imperativa? You. You, okay. You. You, exactly. But you write in? Parenthesis, yeah, because when you give an imperative sentence, you don't mention the subject, okay, because you understand. Usted no lo menciona, okay, porque usted ya entiende que la acción es para usted. Entonces, por eso se escribe entre paréntesis. For example, this one, close the classroom door, please. Okay, close the classroom door, please. ¿A quién se lo dice? Me, yeah, okay, that's me, you. you. Ok, por esa razón, siempre el sujeto de un imperativo va a ser you, aunque no lo decimos, ok. If I tell you, stand up please, ¿a quién se lo digo? Stand up please. You. You, ok, no lo menciono, pero usted sabe que es para usted. Ok, wash your hands, ¿a quién se lo digo? You. Ok, you, you, you exactly. For example, this one, look at the rainbow, ok. So we have the subject in the sentence, but we didn't mention, yeah? Okay, look at the rainbow. You know that the information is for you. Okay, wait for me, espérame. 
Ya, yeah, ok, the information is for you. La información es para usted, pero no menciona el sujeto. Ya, yeah, please, bring me the blanket. Ok, Carson, tell me your Bible verse. Walk carefully on the sleek sidewalks, Joseph. Ok, so in that case, all the imperative. Uh, let me see, sentences has a subject, have a subject, but in that case is you, but you write in parentheses. Yes? Ok. Recuerde esto, esto es muy importante. The subject of an imperative sentence is always you. Ok? El sujeto en una oración imperativa siempre va a ser you. Yes? Ok, excellent. This one is the next topic, yeah, that I study. Let me share the other one. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to page in that case. Okay. Non-action verb, page 105. Okay, non-action verb. This one is the question of Mateo Estrada. Yes, Mateo? Sí, mis. <laughs> okay, so let's see. <laughs> Sometimes, okay, a verb does no show action. Okay, algunas veces los verbos no muestran acción. Some of these non-action verbs are Y en inglés tenemos algunos verbos que no muestran acción. ¿Cuál es la lista de estos verbos? Am, is, are, was, and also were. ¿Ok? These one are non-action verbs. Son verbos que no muestran acción. But you tell me, ah, teacher, but am, is, are, was, and were also al helping verb. Yes. ¿Ok? Estos también tienen la función de helping verb. Ok, quiere decir que am, is, are, was, and were are non-action verbs and also helping verbs. Ok, estos tienen doble función. Pueden ser un verbo de ayuda o pueden ser un verbo que no muestra acción. Yes, ok. That's mean, a non-action verb is a verb that doesn't show action. Es un verbo que no muestra acción. This one is a non-action verb. What are this one? Am, um, is, are, was, and were. Okay, how many non-action verbs do we have? ¿Cuántos verbos de, de no acción tenemos? Five. Five, okay, what are this one? Am, um, is, um, are, are, was, were. Where, exactly, we have five, okay? And remember, a non-action verb is a verb that doesn't show an action, yes? Okay, so let's see. For example, in this exercise that we have here, yeah? Okay, so let's see. The sailboat was blown across the way. Okay, in that case, an non-action verb is was. Our dinner is in the oven. The non-action verb is? Is, yeah? Okay, is, exactly, this one. Next one, let's see. The sun was sung by our children's choir. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Blake and Sean are, in that case, the non action verb is are. Okay. So let's see. And your shoes were near the back door. In that case, the non action verb is were. Okay. Por qué? Por qué no muestra una acción. Okay. Remember, an action is something that you can do with your body. Yeah, okay, una acción es algo que usted puede hacer con su cuerpo. Yes, okay, so let's see, let's practice right now. For example, if I tell you eat, this one is an action or non-action verb, eat. Action verb. Action verb, okay. Action. If I, okay, if I tell you, let me see, was, this one is an action or a non-action verb? Was. Non-action verb. Okay, non-action verb because this one is part of the list. Yes, okay, of non-action verb. If I tell you play, action or non-action? Action verb. Okay, action, call, action or non-action? Non-action. Okay, call. This one is part of action. the list. Okay, this one is an action verb. Yes, okay, remember, we have only five non-action verbs. Am, um, is, are, was, where. 
si no está en esta lista de cinco, quiere decir que es un verbo de acción. Pero si está en esa lista de cinco verbos non-action, entonces es un non-action verb. Yes. Ok, where is an action or non-action verb? Where? Non-action verb. Okay. Non-action verb. Exactly. Is. Non-action. Ok, non-action verb. Let's see. Jump. Jump. Action verb. Action verb. Ok. See. Action verb. Action verb. Ok. Dance. Action verb. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so you understand, yes? Okay, thank you. Yeah, this one is easy, I think, yeah, for practicing. Okay, so I don't know, Mateo, it is clear this part? Esta clara esa parte, Mateo? Yes, miss. Yes, okay. So let's see, diagramming? No, we don't study in that part, yeah? Okay, this one is no of the topic that we study for the test. Yes, diagramming, no. So that's me, right now we study a helping verb, we study verb phrase, we study non-action verb, we study imperatives, but it's missing one topic. What is this one? Uh, fact, fact and opinion, yes? Fact and opinion, this is the other fact topic that we, yes, that it is necessary that we study. Okay, so let's see. First one, we understand. Okay, what is a fact? A fact is something that is true, okay? And you can prove, okay? And this one can be proven. And an opinion is something that tells what someone believes or feels. Okay, what is the difference? A fact, in Spanish, un hecho, okay? is something that is true, es algo que es verdadero y que usted puede probar. This one is a fact. An opinion is something that you believe or that you feel, okay? Una opinión es algo que usted cree o usted siente, okay? Usted no lo puede probar. Yes, this one is the different. A fact is something that is true and can be proven. And an opinion is something that tells what someone believes or feels, yes? Okay, so let's see. And we solve this exercise, yes, on your book. So let's see, let's check this part. You have this one on page 110. Lo tiene la página 110, okay? Let's go to page 110, please. Okay, let's go to page 110. Okay, excellent. So you have this information on this part, 110. Okay, let's review. A fact is something that is true and can be proven. And an opinion is something that tells what someone believes or feels, yes? Okay, and you tell me, we have a new library in a neighborhood. Okay, this one is a fact. Why? Because you can see the building, because you can see the library, because you can see the banner that says library, yeah? So this one is a fact, it's something that you prove, okay? Es un hecho, es algo que usted puede probar, sí, porque usted lo ve. Let's see, the library is one mile from our house, okay? We say that this one is a fact. Why? Because you can measure, yeah? Es algo que usted puede medir. Si usted mide de su casa a la biblioteca, usted va a decir, sí, es verdad, tiene una milla. Ok, entonces lo podemos probar. Ok, so let's see, next one. In that case, one mile is too far to walk. Ok, this one is an opinion. Ok, one mile is too far to walk. Una milla es demasiado para caminar. Maybe I consider that is too far. Okay, but maybe you consider that it's near. Okay, yo puedo tener la opinión de que esto está lejos o de que esto está cerca. Va a depender de usted. Usted me puede decir, okay, teacher, caminar una milla, no, no está lejos, está cerca. Okay, esa es una opinión. Okay, no es algo que usted pueda probar porque cada quien mide, okay, la capacidad que tiene. Entonces, sí es una opinión. The library has the nicest 
Okay, children's area. This one is an opinion. Why? Because you believe that is that, yes? Maybe you consider that the nicest area is science fiction, yeah? Okay, usted puede, um, vamos a ver, decir eso. Okay, pues mi opinión, yo puedo considerar que el área de los niños es súper genial, pero probablemente Alejandro Romero piense que el área de ciencia ficción es súper genial. Entonces son dos opiniones distintas, ok? Ok, ok, so let's see, let's continue. There are over 500 books just for children. Yes, ok, this one is a fact. Because we can count every book and we say that there are 500. Podemos contar cada libro y al final podemos decir que, ok, exacto. Podemos decir que son 500 libros. Ok, lo podemos probar. The biography about Laura Ingalls Wilder is the best book. This one is an opinion. Ok, yo considero que la biografía de esta persona, en mi opinión, ok, Es la mejor, pero usted me puede decir, teacher, but I think that, um, let me see a famous person, George Washington is the best book, ok, pero yo creo que la biografía de George Washington es la mejor, ok, es una opinión. Number seven, this book has beautiful pictures, ok, este libro tiene hermosas imágenes, this one is an opinion, yeah, Ok, this book has a picture of King Gaju on this page. Ok, so this one is a fact. Yeah, because we have a picture here about this one. Ok, tenemos una imagen, entonces yo puedo probar que es cierto. Yes, so this one is a fact. Our little Brian is very helpful. Ok, this one is an opinion. Maybe I can say our little Brian is very friendly. Ok. And the last one, we plan to visit the library each Tuesday after school. Ok, planeo visitar la biblioteca cada jueves. Es un hecho, es algo que yo voy a hacer. Yes? Ok. Son los dos. Ok, yeah, this one is both. Puede que sí, puede que no. Ok, let me check here. Mm, ok, vamos a ver. Ok. Sí, tenemos 23 conectados. Muy bien, me están preguntando aquí que esta, eh, si era la hora establecida para Paintmanship. Recuerde, en el grupo, ok, enviamos información el día lunes y la enviamos ahora temprano, en donde decía que la agenda semanal, la programación del día miércoles iba a cambiar y que iba a quedar de la siguiente manera. A las 8 de la mañana, su clase de repaso de estudios sociales. A las 9 de la mañana, clase de repaso de language. A las 10 de la mañana, clase de repaso de ciencias. A las 11 de la mañana, examen de julio de estudios sociales. A la 1.30 pm, horario sugerido, examen de penmanship. Entonces ahí decía, favor tomar nota y agradecemos las consideraciones del caso. Ok, lo enviamos al grupo porque necesitábamos hacer ciertos cambios. Entonces la clase de repaso que teníamos para la 1.30 la pasamos a esta hora. Y a esta hora que usted tenía sus exámenes de penmanship, usted los va a realizar por la tarde. De acuerdo. Ok, so let's see. Now, we finished the review, but I have different questions for you. Ok, terminamos repaso, pero lo voy a poner a prueba ahorita. Okay, so let's see. What is a fact? Raise your hand if you want to participate. What is a fact? What is a fact? Okay, Alejandro Romero, what is a fact? Um, a fact. A fact is a is um uh, that is no sé in English, pero sí en español. Okay, is something something that is true. Okay, that is true, yes. And you can prove, yeah? And okay. you can prove. Yes, you still lo puede probar. Okay, what is an opinion? Lucas, what is an opinion? An opinion is sometimes that tells what someone Believe or feel. Okay, is something that you feel or you believe. That's mean when you express your feeling or maybe you believe. Exactly. Okay, so let's see. 
How many helping verbs do we have? Raise your hand if you want to participate. How many helping verbs do we have? Okay, Jimena Enriquez. How many helping verbs do we have? Five. Okay, helping verbs. And um, um, eight. Eight, exactly. We have eight helping verbs. What are the helping verbs that we study? What are the helping verbs? Okay, Paulette, give me the answer. What are the helping verbs? Um, it, are, were, have, um, uh, where, have, and has. Yes? Okay, excellent. So this one are the helping verbs, exactly. Okay, how many non-action verbs do we have? How many non-action verbs? Okay, Gabriel, how many non-action verbs do we have? Five. Five, okay, what are they? ¿Cuáles son estos? And they are... Um, am, is, are, was, were. Okay, excellent. Am, um, is, was, were, and also? Okay, am, um, exactly, excellent. Okay, so let's see. And what is the subject in an imperative sentence? You. What is Okay, you, exactly, the subject, always the subject in an imperative sentence is you, okay? The only thing is that you don't write or you don't mention, yeah? Usted no lo escribe, usted no lo menciona, yes? Okay, if we have a helping verb and an action verb together, we call this expression, ¿cómo llamamos esa expresión? Verb phrase. Okay, verb phrase, exactly. If we have an action verb and a helping verb, so we have a verb phrase, okay. If I tell you, uh, let me see, is, this one is an action or non-action verb? Action verb. Action verb. Okay, action. This one is an action verb, okay. Tell, it's an action verb. Let's see, if I tell you, um, Action or non-action verb? Non-action verb. Non okay, non-action non verb, exactly. Okay, non-action verb, excellent. Okay, so let's see. All is clear? ¿Todo está claro, chicos? Yes. Okay, creo que sí, ya estamos yes. listos para el examen. Yes. Si usted lo quiere, okay. Si usted lo quiere hacer en el transcurso del día, lo puede hacer, si no en el horario sugerido. Dígame, Mateo Estrada. Uh, ¿En cuál página está lo de Action Verbs? Quiero okay, repasar ciento, otra vez. 105, página 105. Ah, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Muy bien, recuerde que sus test de penmanships que va a desarrollar son, vamos a ver, test 17, 18, 19 y test 20, ok, son cuatro, 17, 18, 19 y 20. Sí, usted los puede desarrollar y me los puede enviar. Dígame, Jimena. Y perdón por interrumpir, pero no, si, no sé si vi el mensaje de ayer que le envié, le mandé los test de... Ok. De, 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 de. Sí, si ya lo envió, no se preocupe, que yo los voy a estar chequeando, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, si tenemos dudas, con gusto me escriben Miss. y nos vemos el día de mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Dígame. Miss, ¿de te qué hasta qué test va a ser? Del test 17 al test 20. Gracias. Ok, muy bien. Ok, chicos, buena suerte en sus evaluaciones y nos vemos el día de mañana, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, cualquier cosita me puede escribir, estoy a la orden. Un gusto verlos, hasta mañana chicos y buena suerte, feliz día. Bye, bye. Adiós.